Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about a very important topic, are IT certifications still worth it in 2024? With the rapid changes in technology, automation, and AI, a lot of people are wondering if certifications still provide the value they used to. So let's break it down, talk about what's changed and how you can make the most of certifications in your career. First off, let's talk about why certifications still matter. The job market is more competitive than ever, and while hands-on experience is still king, certifications are still a solid way to validate your skills especially in specialized areas like cloud computing, cybersecurity, and DevOps. Certifications give hiring managers confidence that you know what you're doing, even if you're transitioning into a new area or just getting started. Here are just a few reasons certifications still remain relevant in 2024. One, proof of knowledge. Certifications provide a standardized way to show you have the skills needed for the job. Two, competitive edge. In a crowded job market, having that extra credential can give you the edge over other applicants. Three, career transitions. Certifications are one of the fastest ways to pivot into new areas, especially in tech. For employer requirements, some roles, especially in government and regulated industries such as banking, still require certifications as part of the hiring process. Now, here's the thing. Not all certifications are created equal. You've really got to be strategic about the ones you're going to pursue. Some certs like AWS Certified Solutions Architect and CompTIA Security Plus are evergreen and consistently in demand while others might only be relevant for a short time. So how do you decide if a certification is worth it? Let's break down three key factors that can help you make a smart decision. One, research demand. Start by researching how often a particular certification is mentioned in job postings. You can use LinkedIn, Indeed, and other job boards to see if employers in your target field are listing that certification as a requirement or preference. For example, if you're aiming for a role in cloud engineering certifications like AWS Solutions Architect or Google Cloud Professional Engineer, often show up in job descriptions. The more frequently you see a certification listed, the more likely it is to boost your chances in the job market. Also, really pay close attention to trends. Some certifications are hot right now, but that really could fade out in a few years. On the other side, evergreen certifications like Security Plus or PMP, Project Management Professional, have held their value for years. Staying updated with industry reports like those from Global Knowledge or Gardner can also give you insights into what's in demand. Two, align with your goals. Next, consider how the certifications align with your career goals. If you're a software developer focused on cloud native applications, a certification like Certified Kubernetes Administrator CKA might be more valuable than a general cloud cert. Think about where you want to be in the next two to five years and choose certifications that will move you closer to those goals. If you're transitioning into a new career field or aiming for a promotion, certifications can act as a bridge. For example, if you're moving from networking to cloud, certifications like AWS Certified SysOp Administrator or DevOps Engineer can help you make that shift and show employers that you're serious about the transition. It's also important to avoid the certification treadmill where you just keep getting certs to collect badges and without a real clear strategy. Instead, be intentional. Choose certifications that add specific value to your current role or future career path. Three, consider return on investment. Certifications can be a really significant investment both in time and in money, so Weighing the return on investment is crucial. Some certifications like those from GAIAC Global Information Assurance Certification are extremely in-depth and come with a very hefty price tag. For example, I have the GAIAC GCIH certification, which currently costs around $979, and GAIAC has even more expensive applied knowledge certifications that go for around $1,300. Unless you're deeply involved in cybersecurity or have the cost covered by your employer or something like the GI Bill, I don't recommend going after these highly specialized certs. I originally pursued the GCIH because I thought I wanted to have a career in penetration testing. Although I ultimately decided against that path, the certification was still a huge time commitment. Fortunately, I had it paid through the GI Bill, which made the investment more justifiable. However, if you're paying out of pocket or don't plan to work directly in cybersecurity, the ROI may not be worth it. When evaluating ROI, ask yourself, what's the potential salary increase if I get the certification? How much time will it take to study and prepare? Are there renewal or re certification costs down the road. You can also research salary data from sources like Payscale or Glassdoor to see the average salaries for professionals with these specific certifications. For example, if you're looking at AWS certs, check what a certified solutions architect typically earns in your area compared to someone without that certification. This can help you decide if the investment is worth it. Ultimately, your goal should be to focus on certifications that give you the best bang for your buck both in terms of career growth and salary potential. Certifications are also great for structured learning. If you're someone who struggles with self-paced study, getting certified forces you to learn what's needed and stay disciplined. Plus, many certification paths now include hands-on labs or projects that give you real-world experience. But here's an important point I want to make. Certifications
conclusions are just part of the equation. They work best when paired with actual experience, whether that's through building projects, contributing to open source, or working on freelance gigs. Employers are looking for candidates who can prove they know how to apply what they've learned, not just those who can pass a test. Here are a few ways to get the most out of your certifications. One, combine them with projects. Show how you've applied your knowledge by building out a portfolio. Two, network and leverage communities. Many of these certification programs have communities that can help you find job leads and mentors. Three, keep learning. Technology changes fast. Recertify when needed and stay updated with the latest trends. Now let's talk about certifications for software engineers. In this field, certifications don't always carry the same weight as they do in fields like cloud computing or cybersecurity. Software engineers are more often judged by their ability to code, understand algorithms, and work with specific frameworks. That's why in many cases, certifications aren't as common or expected in job listings for software engineers rules. For software developers, the focus is more on building out a strong portfolio, contributing to open source projects, and showcasing your skills on platforms like GitHub. Hiring managers tend to care more about your problem solving abilities and familiarity with the tech stack they're using rather than whether you have a specific certification. That said, some certifications can still be valuable depending on your career goals. For example, certifications in cloud platforms like AWS or Google Cloud can be beneficial if you're aiming for a full stack role or looking to specialize in cloud native development. Or if you're a software engineer eyeing a leadership position, certifications in project management like PMP or IT service management like ITIL can also add value to your portfolio. But overall, if you're a software engineer, you're better off focusing on building your coding skills, mastering frameworks, and staying updated with industry trends through hands-on practice and contributing to real-world projects. Now, let's talk about certifications for project managers, business analysts, and other non-tech roles within the tech career field. In these fields, certifications are still highly relevant and often required. For project managers, certifications like PMP or PMIACP, Agile Certified Practitioner, are widely recognized and can open up doors to higher level roles. Business analysts can also benefit from certifications like CBAP, Certified Business Analysis Professional, or even Six Sigma certifications for process improvement. These credentials help validate your expertise and are often listed as requirements in job postings, especially for senior roles. In these roles, certifications provide a structure, best practices, and a common language that can help you effectively communicate and manage projects across teams. For those in non-technical roles, having the right certifications can make a big difference in advancing your career. Before we dive deeper, let me share about my background and how certifications have played a role in my career. My first certification was Security Plus and I still keep it active all these years later. After that, during my undergrad at WGU, I earned a bunch more certifications, mostly focused on Cisco since I was working in networking at the time. I went all the way up to my CCNP. A few years later, I shifted into Cloud and DevOps, which is where I've been ever since. Over time, I've earned six AWS certifications, including both the professional level ones and some other security related certs like GCIH, Security Plus, the Terraform Associate, and Certified Kubernetes Administrator. But as I moved into more senior roles, my most motivation for stacking up certifications has really tapered off. At this stage in my career, my portfolio and real world projects are what turn heads more than a list of certifications. Don't get me wrong, certifications are still valuable, especially for mid-level professionals and seniors looking to stay sharp, but they're absolutely crucial for juniors just trying to break into the industry. For those just starting out or transitioning into new areas, certifications can be that foot in the door. They provide a way to demonstrate competence even if you don't have years of experience under your belt. At the end of the day, whether certifications are worth it depends on how you use it. If you're strategic, it can really be a stepping stone that opens doors and builds credibility in your chosen field. And that's it for today's video. I hope this gives you some clarity on whether certifications are still a good investment in 2024. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more insights into navigating a career in tech. With that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.